Fellow YouTubers, first I would like to correct myself. I did say in my last video, Afghan-Iraqi border. It was a mistake. I meant Afghan-Iranian border. I apologize for that, and I hope uh, that's, that's uh, cleared now. Because of the stylings of my videos, I have been accused of simply spouting hearsay because I do not cite sources. I do this because I wish to present you with a thought, not a story. I encourage you to go and look up some of the names I speak of, the places, the times. These politically driven videos I do are sometimes silly, sometimes boring, sometimes unbelievable. Sometimes I make assertions that may seem fabricated, but they are simply statements, not opinions, and I have the facts to back them up. I would like to thank especially the 50,000 or so people who watched my video today. Not this one, the other one. Placing it in the top 20. Let me add that, as I can hardly hide my excitement, I have now been vindicated. I have spent a lot of my time researching into many things. One of those things happens to be Middle Eastern affairs. The video I released yesterday explained the absence of a link between Iraq and Al-Qaeda. It was intended to be a follow-up to my Bullet to Blue Sky video, which was about Ramzi Youssef, arrested in 1995, and his role in the September 11th attacks on New York. What I didn't know was that within 24 hours, the Senate would, re would release a report about the relationship between Al-Qaeda and Iraq. The contents of this report can be summed up as follows. Quoting the Associated Press, According to the report, post-war findings indicate that Saddam was distrustful of Al-Qaeda and viewed Islamic extremists as a threat to his regime. In 2004, Bush defended Vice President Dick Cheney's assertion that Saddam had long-established ties with Al-Qaeda. Zarqawi is the best evidence of connection to Al-Qaeda affiliates and Al-Qaeda, the president said. End quote. I will be posting a link in the comment section that will take you to this AP story online. I'm unsure as to whether you share in my excitement, but I'm having a hard time sitting still right now. Uh, to be vindicated in this way, after all my hard work, I've realized the true power of YouTube. Before today, and especially before YouTube, it has been frustrating to have done so much homework and have so few ears in which to speak. Enter YouTube, where I have began to assemble my work and release them as presentations in which I ask you to go and do research on your own after presenting to you an oversimplified version of my findings. Today, I feel something has happened on YouTube that has never happened before. How conceited. This Senate report actually comes on the heels of a report by a YouTube user, and that Senate report vindicates said user. The video was posted on the 7th of September at 1 a.m. Hey, that was a preemptive strike by me. Don't attack me, Bush. <laughs> I, I, I realize that he's the preemptive guy, but whatever. I believe that in the future, the users of YouTube can make a big difference. The Internet is a totally free world of, full of limitless information crafted and molded by the people who use it, making it a beautiful society that spans the entire globe. With my new enthusiasm for my work, I will do more videos of this kind. I will still be making my creatively inclined videos as well. In the meantime, have a good night, and thank you for watching.